Hello everyone, welcome back to Manual Tutorials. Today we'll be seeing a sketch the signal example, but this is not like the usual one. So we have a sketch the signal example plus you have to draw an other derived questions from this signal that we are going to get that we are going to draw using this equation. So before we start, if you have not subscribed to Manual Tutorials yet, do subscribe and share this video with your friends who are in need. Also, if you have any doubt related to signals and systems or any other computer science or electronics topic, you can ask them in the comments and we'll try to help you. This is also a doubt asked by one of the students in the comment section. Let's start. So what we have is a unit step, completely unit step related signal. So first we have u of t plus 2, u of t minus 2, u of t plus 1 and u of t minus 1. So let's number them so that it becomes easier for us to draw first let's start with the first one that is u of t plus 2 now u of t we know it's the unit step signal which starts from t equal to 0 and ends at t equal to infinity with amplitude 1 right so when you shift this one by 2 plus 2 meaning it's advanced so it's going to go to the left hand side by 2 so that is what i have drawn here so it's starting from minus 2 and going to up to infinity with amplitude 1. This is the first part. Now second part is u of t minus 2. The second part we are going to subtract from the first one. u of t minus 2 is a delayed version by 2. So it's going to shift to the right by 2. So that is what I have drawn here. u of t minus 2. Now what we have to do is 1 minus 2, right? So... When you subtract the first version from the second, you can see that first signal from minus 2 to, it stretches from minus 2 to infinity, second from plus 2 to infinity. From minus 2 to plus 2, you can see that second signal is 0. So you can just draw the first signal as it is. This is a tip you can use. So if the second signal is 0 and you're subtracting second from the first, the first signal can be drawn as it is to get the shape of the signal. So from minus 2 to pl plus 2, you can just draw it this way. Like from here to here, it will be a step which is going to 2. And from 2 to infinity, we have the second signal's amplitude as 1. And if you see, first signal also from 2 to infinity is 1. So 1 minus 1 is going to be 0 for t equal to 2, t equal to 3 and so on. So the entire signal is going to be 0 from 2 to infinity. So that is what I have drawn here. So from 2 onwards, we are not going to have any signal and our resultant is going to be a rectangular step which is going to go from minus 2 to plus 2 with amplitude 1. This is the first and second part. Now the third part of the signal is u of t plus 1 u of 2 t plus 1 is similar to this one but we are going to just shift it by 1 to the left that is what i have drawn here so it starts from minus 1 and ends to infinity or goes up to infinity and second the fourth part of the signal is u of t minus 1 which is going to be a shift to the right by 1 that is what i have drawn here Now if you see, to make it easier because you can see that the first two parts of the signal are shifted by 2, second two parts of the signal are shifted by 1. So what we can do is a grouping so that it becomes easier for us to draw the resultant. So that is what I have done. So 1 and 2 I have already got a rectangular step. Now 3 and 4 when you subtract, so it will be first signal starting from minus 1 ending to infinity second signal starting from plus 1 ending to infinity and second signal from minus 1 to plus 1 is 0 so again same tip you can just draw the signal as it is so minus 1 to plus 1 is going to follow the same shape of the signal as the first one so this you can say it is 3 minus 4 with amplitude 1 and from 1 to infinity, you can see the first, both the signals are having amplitude 1. So, 1 minus 1 is going to be 0 for the entire part of the 
spectrum so what you can say is the signal starts from minus 1 and ends to 1 so we drop the step we bring it to 0 here at 1 so that is what I've drawn now what we have to do is the signal is not only that much it's 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 so what we are going to do is the first part of the signal that we got we are going to add it to the second part of the signal so this step we are going to add it to this step which will give us this signal because it's a very simple addition you can see complete amplitude is 1 for this one and from minus 1 to 1 it's completely 1 plus both the signals are of the same shape it's a rectangular step so you can just just add it on top of the previous signal so that we get this kind of a step so from minus 1 to 1 it is 1 plus 1 which is 2 and minus 2 to minus 1 second signal doesn't have any amplitude or you can say it is 1 at minus 1 so until t equal t less than minus 1 you're going to have it as 0 for the second signal so it's going to be minus 2 to minus 1 the amplitude is 1 then at minus 1 we have a step increase which is 1 plus 1 which is 2 then similarly at 1 you have a step decrease which is 1 minus 1 sorry it will be 2 uh, 2 minus 1 or you can say it's going from 2 to 1 because what we are going to do is we are adding it right so it is 2 at 1 t equal to 1 and at t equal to 2 it's going to be a step decrease so you can see that at 1 it is 2 at 2 we have taken a step decrease and to make it easier maybe you can also take a in between point which is t equal to 1.5 so 1.5 first signal's amplitude is 1 second signal's amplitude is 0 so it's going to be 1 plus 0 which is 1 and to reach here we are going to take a step or a rectangular shape itself because both of the signals are rectangular so that is what i have drawn here so this is just a signal on top of the previous signal so we are getting the resultant which is u of t plus 2 minus u of t minus 2 plus u of t plus 1 minus u of t minus 1 in this signal. This is our resultant x of t. But the question doesn't end here. We also have to draw x of 2t, x of 1 minus t and x of t plus uh, into u of t. So that is what we are going to draw. Now first one is x of 2t. This is time scaling. And when you're multiplying a signal by t, it's al always going to get divided by that value in the time axis. So here if you see, this is x of t for us. Now when you divide it by 2, you can, the signal which is starting from minus 2 to plus 2 will start from minus 2 by 2 to plus 2 by 2, which is minus 1 to plus 1, same signal. So if you don't have any doubt, you can just sketch it as the same shape and finish it off like from minus 1 to plus 1 but if you have any doubts you can take the in between points as well so what you can say is that at minus 1 what is going to be the value of the signal it's going to be what we have at minus 2 because it's going to be minus 2 by 2 right at minus 0 0.5 it's going to be the signal which is at minus 1 because minus 1 by 2 is 0 0.5 at minus 1 what do we have there is a step increase so that is what we are going to draw here Similarly, at plus at 0, it is 2. 2 is going to remain as it is. The amplitude will be 2 in the resultant. Also, at 0 0.5, it will be the value of the signal at 1 by 2, which is 0.5. So, it's going to be again 1, 2, uh, sorry, 2 to 1. That is the step decrease in the signal, which we have over here going, is going to appear at 0 0.5. At 1, what we have at 2 is going to appear. So, the step decrease to 0 is going to appear at 1 and a resultant signal will look like this the so same shape only signal will start from minus 1 and end to plus 1 now next part is x of 1 minus t x of 1 minus t can also be written as minus t plus 1 i'm just interchanging the positions 
so if uh, as you know by precedence rule we can we will do first shifting then scaling and then time reversal here we don't have scaling so what we'll do is shifting shifting by plus one plus one meaning advance so if you shift the signal to the left by one if the signal will start from minus three and end to plus one so that is what i've drawn i've shifted the signal to the left and we have maximum amplitude to this is the time axis and then when you do time reversal the same signal is going to get mirrored around the y axis or the amplitude axis and the signal which starts at minus 3 will end at plus 3 and the signal which ends at 1 will start at minus 1 so you are just reversing the signal around the amplitude axis so this is our x of minus t plus 1 this is our x of t plus 1 so we've got the second part now the third part is very simple third part is x of t into u of t so as i told in uh, the previous videos as well when you want to multiply any signal by u of t you just need to cut off the left hand part of the signal and you will get only the right hand part so here if you see the right hand part is only this step two steps decrease one is from two to one and then from one to zero that is what i have drawn here so this is what is expected of us this is our x of t into u of t you can see that the left hand side of the signal has disappeared so this is our answer to this question so hope you understood this if you have any doubt related to this video or any other video or any other concept in signals and systems or electronics or computer science engineering please let us know in the comments and we'll try to help you Thank you for watching.